Here at Plexus, we've got something exciting planned. We are starting a midweek online small group, mid to late summer. It will be an online chat for like-minded people to meet together, talk about the Bible, pray together, share testimonies, support each other and just have a great time. If anyone out there is interested in joining, wants any more information, then please do get in touch with us. You can do this by emailing us at plexus at salvationarmy.org.uk. That's plexus, P-L-E-X-U-S at salvationarmy.org.uk. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love you to join us. Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth and a big warm welcome to Sailor. Joining us today, we're going to be musing on something musical. A song called For the One, written by Paul McClure and Jen Johnson from Bethel Church in California. This song is particularly special to me, as I walked down the aisle a couple of weeks ago to an instrumental version of it. It makes me well up when I hear it, but then again, I do love a good cry. The song is a conversation with God, asking him to help us to love others the way that he does to love with open arms and to reflect the heart of the Father to people that we encounter. It's an acknowledgement of his deep love for us and a request for him to use us to demonstrate that in the world, to all people, no matter what their circumstance. Jesus' love broke down societal and cultural barriers. His love was and is for everyone. Help me to love with open arms like you do. Over the past five months, my now husband and I have spent some time going through Romans 12 together. It's one of those passages that has so many good things in it, and that you could easily read or hear over and over again, but not fully take it on. But one Sunday evening in January this year, we heard it and decided to dig deeper. And here's a snippet from it. Don't just pretend to love others, really love them. Hate what is wrong, hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honouring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. It is full of good stuff to help us walk through life with Jesus and tells us how we can love others. One translation puts part of this passage like this. Outdo one another in showing honour. I love that phrase. It's like a challenge. My husband especially loves games and is very competitive. Actually, that goes for his whole family. And it's fun to think of ways to live on and bless other people. Romans also tells us to help others in need and to practice hospitality. And I read that as creating a space to live on and serve others, no matter who they are or where they come from, to welcome everybody. We're on a journey of figuring out what that looks like in our individual lives and in our lives together as a new family. We've gone back to Romans 12 many times, not just that bit, to remind us of how we're called to live and to love. Now, all of that spiel was mostly on that Bible passage and not the song, but it all ties in together. When I first heard For the One, I actually heard the instrumental version first, and as I said, loved it so much that I wanted it to be the music that I walked down the aisle to. I then found out it was actually a song, And when I read the lyrics, I felt like it was even more of a special choice because they really reminded me of that passage from Romans 12. The verses of the song remind us that we're all God's children 
that we're all formed and made by the Father and all deserving of his love because Jesus died for every single one of us. It can be really easy to only be loving to the people we like or to decide who we think deserves compassion and love. I'm sure we've all been guilty of having thoughts like that at one point or the other. Hopefully it's not just me. Even though the verses are written as though directed to God, to me, it's almost a reminder to ourselves to have compassion and love for everyone. My favourite bits of the song are the chorus and bridge which say, So help me to love with open arms like you do. A love that erases all the lines and sees the truth. Oh, that when they look in my eyes, they would see you. Even in just a smile, they would feel the Father's love. Let all my life tell of who you are and the wonders of your never-ending love. Let all my life tell of who you are. You're wonderful and such a good father. I think those are such wonderful things to pray through, Song. To ask God to help us to love the way that he does and for people to experience his heart towards them through the way that we live our lives and treat them. For even just our actions without words to demonstrate his extravagant compassion and love in a world that desperately needs to know it more than ever. The song reminds me too of the end of Colossians 3, where Paul exhorts us to clothe ourselves in love. And as we come to the song, I want to end on that reminder. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. And above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Let me be filled With kindness and compassion for the one Father's love